um, it's currently 4.46 in the morning. I just woke up out of a dream and the last thing that I heard was wake up and record what you saw and post it on social media. Please, if you're listening to this, do not take it lightly. Do not take it out of the joke. I saw that I was in, I was on earth and I was in a car that was on a highway. And as the car was driving, I saw planes falling out of the sky. I saw 18 wheelers driving on the highway. And there was this huge 18 wheeler that crashed into a car and it flipped and it flipped and it flipped and it flipped and the wheel fell off of the 18 wheeler and caught on fire and i looked everywhere and there was so much destruction and there was so much happening and my heart started racing i got scared and then i saw that whoever was driving the car it wasn't anyone that i knew driving the car I just saw that I was in the back seat and I saw all of this stuff happening. And then all of a sudden I saw I was transported into this huge conference room with a lot of people. And in the conference room, there was this big TV. And on the TV, there was a reporter that was talking and the reporter said, was talking about all these things that were happening. They didn't understand what was going on in the world. And I was watching the news and everyone was panicking, but everyone stopped to watch the news. And the reporter said, if you're watching this, I need you to understand that Jesus has not come back yet because I'm telling you that I would not be here. That's what the reporter said. The reporter said, I would not be here if Jesus came back. But please understand that if you're watching this, this is a sign of repentance. That's what the news reporter said. The news reporter said that this is nothing compared to if Jesus was to come back. This is nothing compared to what his return will be like. And then I saw the TV shut off. And there were people running everywhere. There were people looking for the people that they loved. There were people just confused running around. And then God told me to speak. I heard the voice of God tell me to speak. And as I started speaking... I started speaking with a loud voice and I was telling people to repent, to repent, to repent. Jesus is coming soon, but there was people that wouldn't listen to me. There was people that would listen to me. There was people that ignored me. There were people that were speaking over me. And there was a two men that one was on a guitar, one was on a piano and they were playing music. And as they were playing music, the music got louder than me purposefully. And then I walked over to them and I said, turn the music down, please. I'm trying to talk to the people. And then they lowered the music. And then I started talking and something told me to stand on top of a, a chair, kind of like, kind of like what I'm sitting on, a stool like this. And I got on top of the stool and I started talking about Jesus and I was telling everyone to repent, repent. The return of Jesus Christ is near, repent, repent. And no one would listen to me. And then something led me to go to this section. And I got off the stool and I walked into this section. There was a lot of people there, but it wasn't as chaotic. And there were three young women. And the three young women that I were talking to, I said, hi, can I talk to you? They said, sure, sure. And I started talking to them about Jesus. And I started explaining to them who Jesus was. And out of the three girls, there was one girl that didn't want to hear anything that I had to say, but there were two that were willing to listen. And I was explaining to them that the return of Jesus Christ is near. And they said, who is Jesus? And I explained to them who Jesus was. And they said, well, why did Jesus have to die? What was the reason for his death? And then in the dream, I remember so clearly that I explained to them. I said, Jesus had to die because of the fall of man. Jesus is the exchange. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. And if you do not accept Jesus as the son of God, you will not receive salvation because Jesus said the only way to the father is through me. We are, we are God's creation. We are not his children until we accept him as our personal Lord and savior. You are not a child of God until you receive Jesus as your Lord and savior. Jesus said no one can come to the father except through me. So if you live your life thinking that you are a child of God, 
even though you are not following the law of Jesus, even though you are not following the commandments of Jesus, when you die, you will go straight to hell. You will not be going up in the rapture when Jesus comes back for his church. And then I explained to them and I said, because of the fall of man, the only sacrifice that would have been great is another man. Because of the fall of man, another man had to come as an exchange. And so I said, that's what Jesus came for. And then I said, I feel the spirit of God pulling me to talk to you. Do you want to accept him as your savior? And they said, yes, you want to accept him. And then the other third girl that was there was just looking at me. My eyes were closed as I was telling them about the prayer of salvation and repentance. But I could feel her eyes looking at me with a hatred. And the two girls closed their eyes with me and I closed my eyes with them. And I said, repeat after me. And word for word, I said this, Lord, I understand that I'm a sinner and I understand that I fall short of the glory of God each and every day. Lord, I believe that you came on this earth and that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you were buried for my sins and I believe that you resurrected from the grave for my sins. Lord, I accept you into my heart. I accept you into my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And they said the prayer with me. And then as I finished with them, the girl, the third person was looking at me with such hatred and I walked away and there was this auditorium with a big stage and I walked in front of the auditorium. Something told me to shout, repent, repent, I'm coming soon, repent, repent, I'm coming soon. And I woke up from the dream and immediately when I woke up, I heard the voice of God tell me to get up and record what you saw. I don't know who's watching this. And I myself would be skeptical to post something like this because in my mind, I would think, God, people are going to think I'm crazy. People are going to think I'm imagining it or I'm doing this for clout. But please understand that God is such a God of grace. God is such a God of love because he gives us second chances. I need you to understand that Jesus is coming very, very soon. The return of Jesus Christ is near. I need you to understand. I know that it may seem hard to believe because for thousands of years, people have been saying Jesus is coming back. Repent. But I need you to understand that if he hasn't come back yet, you need to under you need to understand that you should be very thankful because what is reserved after life, the human mind cannot fathom hell. The reason why people don't take their walk seriously is because they cannot understand the severity of hell. God allowed me to see what is coming. God allowed me to see and to understand that there is a great cry that is going to fall over America. I don't know what today is going to bring. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but God allowed me to see this vision and he said, repent. And in the dream, he didn't come back yet because I was there. In the dream, the news reporter said, if Jesus came back, I would not be here because I am a Christian. And I believe that when we're watching her on the screen, that it was true because there are some things that are going to come and there are people that are going to die. And once you die, there is no more chance to repent because salvation is for those who have life. Please make the choice to choose Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Don't think that you're young and you have time. Please understand that if you're 25 and you're going to die when you're 27, you're old. If you're 50 and you're going to live to 100, you're young. But please understand because we don't know what tomorrow holds, you have to understand. Please receive and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The plan of the enemy is that you would live your whole life hating Jesus. The plan of the enemy is that you would live your whole life far from God because he places in your mind that you have time. But the truth is because you don't know what tomorrow brings, you do not have time. Repent, repent, repent. Repentance means you decide that you don't want to live a life of sin anymore and you don't want to cling to sin and you don't want to run to sin as your first resort. And so you go before the Lord and you say, Lord, I don't want to live this life of sin anymore. Please, Lord, accept me, accept me into, accept me. I accept you into my life, into my heart, into my mind. I don't want to live like this anymore. Repentance is not for the strong. It's for the weak. Because you have to understand that you have to realize that you cannot do it on your own. The flesh is willing. 
the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We can want to serve Christ, but our flesh is so weak. But you have to understand that Jesus is coming back soon. This is not a joke. This is not for clout. This is not for anything other than the fact that I heard the voice of God push me. And show, he showed me what he showed me because he loves you. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And he doesn't want to see anyone go to hell. That is not what God wants. A lot of people said God sends people to hell. God does not send anyone to hell. It's a choice that you make. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. God does not send anyone to hell. If you live a life without Jesus, if you live a life choosing not to serve him, you have to understand that when you die, there is a place that, are, that is prepared for you that has nothing to do with him. Salvation is a choice. Choose Jesus. Choose him. Accept him into your life because once you die, it's over. Once the rapture happens, there is no more heaven. Yes, you will receive another chance to accept him, but the Holy Spirit will no longer be here. And it will be by trial. It will be by tribulation. It will be by death that you will accept him into your life. You will no longer be able to serve him freely and to go out in the open with the Bible in your hand. Please understand what is reserved after death is hell if Jesus is not your savior. And what is reserved after the rapture is pain. It's trial. It's tribulation. Please listen to your heart. I know you feel him in your heart. You feel something in your heart telling you to accept him don't please don't turn back because the moment you turn back your heart will only get harder accept him into your life accept him into your heart because jesus said tell my people i am coming back very very soon please accept him into your heart and repent god bless you please listen to this video god bless you god bless you and god bless you